So I got this new uh, gas tank, gas can. I knew of this like back in the day. I wish I would have got one a lot sooner. Because <laughs> you can flip it upside down, nothing. And you just push it. Fills up the tank. And it also stops on its own. So you're not overfilling it. Which is pretty cool. Because it hits this. And it stops. I should have got one of these a long time ago. So, we are here in Page, doing a little bit of riding, gearing up for that race in Laughlin. So I haven't ridden here since Whiplash, and my last time I've been here was called Amra, A-M-R-A, -A, Arizona motorcycle racing association and that was back in like 2008 so it's been a it's been a hot minute in a very long time i asked one of the guys at page honda if it's still the same he said somewhat so i'm right up and through here see if i can remember any of the trails it's a lot of whoops almost like the senders but Cinders is pretty snowy and it's super far. I don't know why I haven't been back here to ride, but I'm just gonna lock up and let's go for a ride. Here we go. Let's see, throw this bad boy on. Robin, whoa, there's no way I'm fitting through that. It's only Robin Harmon used to go through under here, but all that sand is built up. Very tempted to ride over there. A friend of mine from uh, Flag was uh, telling me about that. The road is like back that way, Utah side, just cross the bridge, go on that side, and then it goes, I don't know, but somewhere on that side, on the other side of Lake Powell. But want to try and get some good cardio in hit some whoops and then we'll see where it goes really want to check that side out too 
AZOP and Amara the this year just new age is on like that side right where Paige Honda is but on the other side but yeah, let's go check this out you know, the last Amra race I raced went underneath that bridge, came up over this, and through here. It's pretty fun. I was actually trying to look for it, that's why I'm here. Got Horseshoe Bend. I'm Navajo. I can get on that side and check it out. Can't really run from a, a trooper though, because pretty obvious somebody's parked over there <laughs> but yeah should be fun someone's little trail <laughs> throttle control I have like a short memory of this. I remember uh, my back tire got flat. It was like on the third lap. And that was the last lap. I have to slow it down. Like I said, I have a short memory of it. I might have like uh, overshot the turn or something.
years ago they had the cops right here to uh, let the riders go across. I'm playing this all on memory, so. <laughs> people if anybody watches this from like whiplash and so long ago last time I ridden out here was before these hotels before all of this whole development I want to say before the gas station it might have been there before but I know a lot of these were not here. The race course was up in here where this new uh, development's coming in. And uh, this was like, it went like either, either way. Sometimes it went this way, sometimes it went that way. But this whole area was all pits. It was all an open pit. A lot better than how they did it back in like nowadays. Where it's all tight, communed can't really park a truck and uh, the pits here was far better than they do it now because it was like the finish line was either there or here and you pass the transponder and then it's all like pits all open you can bypass it and rip through it and hit the, the check mark and take off into the race or you can hit and go in the pit area bigger gas tank means you can bypass it but if you had a smaller gas tank you have to uh, you have to hit a pit stop I had to uh, double check the camera because I thought I wasn't recording <laughs> but yeah it was like so much better the whole starting line was facing this kind of like in our direction so we take off and it would just come all the way up this thing and then go back in the distance or go over this or like start hanging out towards my direction come up through here it all depended but it was really fun last time I was here was like in 2008 with Brett and uh, the Northland crew I remember I grabbed the whole shot and then it came up on a turn and the guy like hit me like that it was a 90 degree turn and my foot got stuck in the, the wheel not hurt or anything just had to get back up and try and get going and that was when like the third lap is when my back tire went out back there it, was, it felt flat it was like fish tailing through the rocks I was like ah oh, man I had to go slow didn't want to destroy the rim came back through here that was a AMRA race but yeah it was way before all this stuff it was fun. It was exciting. Wish they would bring back some of those types of races.
Changed my riding location here at uh, Big Water. It's about 20 minutes outside of Page, Utah side. I'm trying to find that picture that everybody takes of like Lake Powell and uh, Navajo Mountain in the background. I don't know if you can ride to it, but we will see. moment so I'm just staying on the main road I've not really got off on the side except way back there but yeah I'm just staying on this If I cannot ride this bike all the way to that spot, then you have to hike. I cannot do that because these boots are not the greatest thing to walk around in. And I do not want to leave this bike unattended here. road but note to self don't ride too fast there's some uh, <laughs> like this it turns <laughs> but back there it did that close to the edge the color changes on the rocks are like my favorite thing to see I didn't even get that far and I see another cool spot <laughs> Running and walking with these dirt bike boots. Ah. Oh, that's cool. 
color, the color of the rocks. It almost makes you feel like you're on a different planet. If you knew what was underneath this, you'd probably freak out. If you saw it from there, it was like kind of on a ledge. <laughs> if you have made it this far in this long, long video, I've got to say thank you for making it this far. <laughs> this is a very long video. I'm not good at rocks is I'm not good at navigating through rocks. I always choose the hardest way. So somewhere out here they filmed the what would we call TV show series the mandalorian while walking up this way i have a itch on top of my head and i went and scratched it i still have my helmet on <laughs> I thought there was a road, but nope. See that split? Oh, that's amazing. So cool. Amazing. <laughs> My boot. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Yeah, it's pretty cool to be here. There's a boat like right in there. It's a little windy, but not too bad. About to uh, head out. Very cool. Very cool. Navajo Mountain way in the distance. Pretty cool, huh? About to skedaddle. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one.